start Saturday morning. This is Mike Lodge, the business advisor. Yeah, it's Saturday morning. I can't believe we made it through this whole week. I mean, these weeks are going by fast, right? I mean, here we are. We're almost done with May already. And now we're going into June. And it just seems like we were just celebrating uh, January 1st, New Year's. And here we are. Almost done with half of the year. So fast. So quickly. But we've had a lot of things to think about. I mean this whole past week has been. Just a nonsense week of politics. And spending. And and everything else. And I tell you it really got to me. I'm going to tell you on a personal basis. When I see that the government is overspending. And I see that we're going into inflation. And that Americans are being hurt. By political decisions. That hurts the economy and hurts the pocketbooks of America, and sm- especially small businesses. I get, I get really, I get really down, uh, and it's this, the kind of down that you begin to fight back, right? I mean, I did so many tweets and and uh, podcasts last week on this forty billion that. They spend again on Ukraine. Again, that increases inflation. So I went over that over and over and over again. And I I begin to wonder, is anybody even paying attention to what I'm saying? Because it seems as though that, that the more that I warn people, and the more that I talk to people about this issue of inflation, that the worse it gets. And I'm wondering if people are really thinking, hey, you know, it's time for me to fight back. I heard a good line, and it applied to me because sometimes I feel as though that I'm inconsequential to what goes on in this world. But he had a good line, and it made me laugh. I said, oh my God, that's me sometimes. And what it said, he said, I'm as, what was it? I am, hey, let me, where's my uh, cell phone? I'll tell you exactly what it said because it, it struck me so greatly that I wrote it down in my cell phone. And I said, okay, I'm going to use that because that pretty much sums up me sometimes when I'm doing these podcasts. Sometimes I wonder when I do these podcasts, are people really listening? And it concerns me because I'm trying to be out there every day, trying to inform people, trying to encourage them to to strengthen their financial situations, trying to help small businesses. But sometimes I feel as though that maybe I'm I'm not getting through. Maybe I'm not getting to where I need to get you guys at. And that, that really concerns me. And so I, I saw this statement. Well, I heard this statement, really. And, and and sometimes I feel as though that maybe what I'm doing on this podcast isn't useful. So I, I heard this guy say this, and I, and I thought it was so funny because then it, it snapped my brain thinking, no, keep on with the fight. And what he says is, what he said was, I feel as useless as the letter G in, in lasagna. <laughs> and I'm thinking, yeah, I am that silent G. Maybe I'm... I, I might be doing all this and I might be saying all this and I, I might be writing and I might be pushing this agenda of, come on, guys, let's get let's get to thinking about our personal finances here because th- this inflationary time is going to be tough and it's getting tough. One of the things is on the East Coast, it's already started, but it also flo- it's over in the West Coast now, too, is that service stations are not able to get the, the gasoline or the fuel that they need. And some of this fuel, especially in California right now, it's 7 bucks per gallon. And on the East Coast, they're, pre- they're predicting that in the next two weeks, that we are going to start seeing gas and diesel rationing because there's just not enough inventory. 
And that is the problem. When we don't have enough inventory, then what happens? Well, that increases the cost of of that gallon of gas that's going into our vehicle. And so the prediction is that it will be up to $10 per gallon. Well, I don't know about you, but right now when I go to put money into my car, it is like taking out a loan payment on a on a house. I mean, it is so expensive. So how are people going to get to work? How are they going to be able to manage their finances if because of that gas, gasoline and diesel have risen so much, that means that a cost of an apple is going to go up, the cost of fruit is going to go up, cost of a vegetable is going to go up, a cost of 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 uh, supplements are going to go up, the price of vitamins are going to go up. Everything is going to go up because everything is hauled by trucks that use diesel. And even Amazon stuff is going to go up. It's no longer long, no longer going to be a cheap uh, process to buy from Amazon because the cost is going up. So we in our personal lives have got to plan better for this. We have got to cut out things that we don't need. We have got to sell stuff, uh, things off that we're not using. Get rid of it. Store up on cash. Get some cash available to you. The other issue that really concerns me at the moment is that loans that are are uh, tied to to the the rising interest rates is going to is going to uh, be a problem, and it is already a problem because a lot of those loans have started to go into default. Which means that it's going to be even a tougher situation for the housing market. Well, if people start defaulting, that means that there is going to be a lot of foreclosures out there. And that means that it is going to hurt the real estate market. So the asset that you thought you had is no longer to be of that value that you thought that you were building up. And that is the process that you should think about real estate anyway, because real estate should never be thought of as short-term anymore. It just should not be. It needs to be long-term. Are you going to stay in this property long-term? And you have to realize realize that during that term that you are in that house, it's going to go up in value and it's going to go down in value. But if you've got a mortgage that is adjustable, you're stupid absolutely stupid i'm sorry i have to tell you this but you're stupid because now you're the cost of your mortgage is going to go up every single time that interest rates go up and that is the problem right now these these adjustable loan mortgages are going into default and that's going to be hurting a lot of people now is not to be not the time to be thinking about buying a home if you can't afford it The problem is that a lot of you people who got those adjustable mortgages could not afford that home in the first place, but you went ahead and you did it. And now you're going to have to live with it. So whatever you own, whatever you think that you cannot manage, get rid of it. Get rid of a house that's costing you too much money. If you're going to live in it, if you're going to stay in it, then think about keeping it. But understand that it's going to go up in value and it's going to go down in value. So you have to adjust your lifestyle, adjust your personal budgets, adjust your spending because inflation is here and it's going to go into a recession. We're already at gasoline prices are at over four dollars, going up to five dollars. In some states, it's six dollars. In other states, it's seven dollars. On the East Coast, we're going to get it. We are going to get hit the hardest because we don't have enough refineries on this side of this of the country to produce enough gasoline and diesel fuel. So we can expect in the next couple of weeks that we are going to be hit hard on this fuel shortage. And the everything boils down to what happens in 
the White House and wh- what the decision process that Biden is going through. Let me play you this one soundbite of a senator who was questioning the the uh, energy secretary. If I can find it here, just one moment. But it was one of those situations. Oops, wrong one. It was one of those situations, and I did not like the way that it was going, because the 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 there are so many fields out there that we can get oil to and increase our production, but the president won't let us. So let's listen to this. Just one second. Comprehensive hostility to the energy sector by this administration, not necessarily you. Day one. I watch it every day. Every day. So you're saying we need to increase supply. Let me give you just the last three weeks. The Department of Interior, and not you, announced that they're taking half of the National Petroleum Reserve set aside by Congress for oil and gas drilling in my state off the table. The most prolific oil reservoir in the world right now. Everybody who explores there finds billion barrel fields. Secretary Holland, your colleague, came to Alaska and announced half of it's off the table. That is not focused on increasing supply. It's the opposite. Let me give you another one. Last week, Cook Inlet Basin, okay, that's the other prolific oil and gas field in Alaska. At the last minute, the Biden administration canceled the lease sale. That is, uh, there has been a comprehensive hostility. Uh, there has been a. So that was a senator questioning the energy secretary and going over the situation where Biden is literally trying, and not only that, but the, but the rules of the energy department, to slow down the production of energy for the American people. And so when I hear that, that means that if he's going to fight this so hard and trying to get to work and being able to have affordable energy costs so that we can drive our cars to work into our clients, into our business meetings, taking our children to school, whatever it may be, if he is willing to play politics with our lives, then I'm sorry, we're going to have to be aggressive and fight back. That's the only thing that we have available to us, that we have to be aggressive and fight back and start telling our senators and members of Congress, hey, listen to us. We're the American people. We're the people that put you there. Do something about this. So, isn't that a cheery way to end the week <laughs> on a Saturday morning? Is to talk about this inflation. Now, I've been talking about it all weekend. Let me tell you something. I am tired about it. Stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to talk about our own personal lives and spirituality and humor. Because we need to laugh a little bit. Because I'm getting tired of all this depressing nonsense that's coming out of Washington that's costing each and every single one of us a lot of money. Listen, this is Mike Lodge. I want you to, if you could, please go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. Again, that's www. I mean, uh, www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. And if you want more access to me, go to my website at www.lodge.co.com. You need to make an appointment with me to talk about business or finances or anything like that. If you want some consultation, just go there and you can book time with me. This is it. This is a Saturday. Go out. Enjoy your time with your family. Offer a prayer upwards to God and say, hey, we need help with this country. And then pray for your family. Everybody have a great Friday, a great Saturday, I mean. Love you guys. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.